it has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad, made with Grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Tuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza, but George does not like the tomatoes or the lettuce or the cucumber. Oh, dear, George. Don't you like the salad? No. George, just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck. George, this is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Yeah. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. <coughs> oh, now, now, George. <coughs> Look what I'm doing. Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? Full. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. George, are you too full to eat anything more? <coughs> George is too full to eat anything more. Oh, well. Then you won't want any of this chocolate cake. Chocolate cake! <coughs> <coughs> My word! George seems to have got his appetite back. <laughs> Peppa, what have you got in your lunchbox? A red apple. I've got a green apple. <gasps> Swap. OK. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, what are you doing? Susie told me to open my lunchbox. Peppa told me to swap our apples. Oh, that's fine. But please, save some food for the picnic. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> the bus has arrived at the foot of the mountains. The mountain road is very steep. Come on, bus. You can make it. Come on, bus. Peppa and her friends are at the top of the mountain. Look at the view. Wow! 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 Who said that? It's your echo. What's my echo? An echo is the sound you hear when you speak loudly in the mountains. Like this. Yodle! 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 <laughs> Echoes are fun. Time for our picnic. <laughs> Peppa loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Where are the ducks? They always turn up when we have picnics. Silly Peppa. Ducks don't live on top of mountains. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Would you like some bread? <coughs> the ducks are very lucky today. There is lots of bread. The ducks are eating too quickly. Apple, Apple orange, banana, banana. Pear and pineapple too Eat five pieces of fruit a day Because they're good for you <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fruit Day Where the magic of fruit never ends Wow, so much fruit Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa Hello We are choosing our favourite fruit What's your favourite? Um, I like apples. I like oranges. I like bananas. I like carrots. Carrots are not a fruit. Oh, carrots are a vegetable. <coughs> Edmund is a bit of a clever clogs. What's your favourite fruit, George? Is it bananas? 
bananas or oranges? George likes strawberries the best. Strawberry. George loves strawberries. Smoothies. Get your fruit smoothies here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas and more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Can I have a smoothie, please? Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. <laughs> Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. Daddy Pig is making vegetable soup for lunch. Can I help? Thank you, Pepper. Can you clear away all these vegetable peelings? OK. <laughs> Stop, Pepper. Vegetable peelings don't go in the normal bin. They go in this brown bin. Ooh, Ooh. banana. That's right, George. It's a banana skin. And there are onions and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Pepper. They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Ooh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Got a special present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <sniffs> Fantastic. My garden will like these. Does your garden eat vegetables? Oh, ho, ho. no, Pepper. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Peppa, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top and then out of the bottom comes lovely rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, no, Peppa. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. <laughs> Look. Ah, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> the worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions and fruit. I'll find it all. <laughs> this way. Pepper and George love shopping. <laughs> Pepper, first we need tomatoes. Hmm. I can see them. I can see them. Here are the tomatoes, Mummy. Well done, Pepper. One, two, three, four. Now put them in the trolley. <laughs> And the tomatoes. Well done, Pepper. Tomatoes. That's one thing off the list. What's next on the list? Spaghetti. Pigetti. That's right, George, but it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. Spaghetti is Pepper and George's favourite food. I wonder where the spaghetti is. I can see it. This way. Spaghetti. Look, Mummy, here's the spaghetti. Well done, Pepper. Let's put the spaghetti in the trolley. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> Pigetti. <laughs> George, it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. <laughs> <laughs> What's next on the list, Pepper? Crisps. Crisps are not on the list. We have plenty of crisps at home, Pepper. Have another guess. Hmm. I 
just can't remember. Can you remember, George? Dinosaur. Dinosaur? George. There aren't any dinosaurs in the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> no, George. The next thing on the list is onions. Onions. I remember now. Here they are. <laughs> well done. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Ask me anything you like about fruit and vegetables. Anything. What is the tallest building you've ever jumped? What's that? Why do I like carrots so much? I'll tell you why. Because they are so tasty. Can you run faster than a train? Which vegetable makes you run fast? That's a good question. I would have to say a Brussels sprout. Have you ever eaten a potato? Uh, fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Doctors now recommend you eat seven a day. Uh, always remember to eat your seven. Right. Let's all give Super Potato a nice big clap for coming to see us today. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, kids, eat fruit and vegetables. Super Potato has left the building. Oh, dear. Did I miss him? Yes. He was brilliant. Well, it was lovely to see you all, but I'd better be going too. Bye. Come on, children. Let's wave Mr. Potato goodbye. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mr. Potato's car won't start. Ah! I cannot get out! Mr. Potato is stuck. Help! Let me out! What shall we do? Help! Call help. for Super Potato! Let me out! Super, Super Potato! Super I potato. think he might be Super too potato. busy to come. No, really, really, Super I do potato. not think that will work this time. No, Madam Gazelle, you just need to shout out with us. OK. Help us, Super, Super potato. potato! There, it didn't work. Now I think we What's need to... What's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! Do you have any tomatoes we might borrow? Borrow? You can take as many tomatoes as you like! The tomatoes have done very well this year. They look a lot bigger than your tomatoes, Grandpa. They may be bigger, but that doesn't mean they're better. Pepper, would you like to taste one? Yes, please. Mmm, yummy. That is the best tomato I have ever tasted, ever. Ah. How did you grow them, Grandad Dog? I didn't really mean to grow them. I just threw some old tomato seeds down in the corner there and they grew. Fill your basket. There's too many for me to eat. Thank you. We're going to make a lovely tomato salad. Ah, I know a great recipe for a tomato salad. Lovely. Can you make it for us? The problem is, my recipe needs basil. And I haven't managed to grow any basil. My grandpa has lots of lovely basil. Really? Oh, yes. Grown heaps of the stuff. Let me show you. Very impressive. Tell me, what's the secret of growing basil? Well, it's quite tricky. The first thing you have to do... I throw some seeds in a pot and the basil grows. You mean it just grows by itself? Uh... Yes. Is it lunchtime yet, Granny? Oh, my poor darlings, you must be starving. Let's make that tomato salad. First we slice the tomatoes. Add a little splash of olive oil, a shake of pepper, a teeny tiny pinch of salt, and finish the whole thing off with these lovely basil leaves. Tuck in, everyone. Mmm. Mmm. Marvellous tomatoes. Thanks to my greenhouse. Mmm. Beautiful basil. Thanks to my greenhouse. This is the best tomato salad in the world ever. <laughs> Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. 
Oh, no! My lettuces! I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. <coughs> wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <coughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> Is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Pepper. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. <coughs> and he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> Seeds grow into plants. I just make a little hole and put the seed in. Then I cover it with earth and water it. Everything in my garden grows from tiny seeds like these. Even the big apple tree? Oh, yes. This tiny seed will grow into a little apple tree, like this. And that little apple tree will grow into a big apple tree, like this. Ouch! Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and inside this apple are more seeds. To make more apple trees. Exactly. Grandpa, Grandpa! I want to plant a seed. Would you like to plant a strawberry seed? Yes, please. This seed will grow into a lovely strawberry plant. First, make a little hole. Then I put the seed in and cover it with earth. Shall I water it for you? No, no. I want to water it. Good. Now we wait for it to grow. Pepper and George are waiting for the seed to grow. It's not doing anything. <laughs> You'll have to be patient, Pepper. It will take a long time to grow. Pepper, George, it's time to go home. But we're waiting for my strawberry plant to grow. <laughs> I wanted strawberries for tea. Don't worry, Pepper. Next time you come, the seed will have grown into a plant. I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Aye, aye, aye Granny, Granny Pig. Pig. We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? 
it. I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa. It's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Mm. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. Clever, <laughs> Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush. First, you have to twitch your nose and squeak like this. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> Very good, Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. <coughs> Delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Yuck. George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh, well. More for us, then. <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop. <laughs> rabbits like hopping. You're very good, rabbit. Lunchtime, children. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Rabbit have prepared lunch. Squeak. Rebecca has taught us how to be rabbits. Squeak, squeak. Oh, you'll enjoy lunch then. It's our favourite, carrots. Delicious. Delicious. Yuck. George will not eat carrots. Oh, dear George, I thought you were a rabbit. Rabbits love carrots. Mmm. Wow! George is eating a carrot. <laughs> and this is our favourite cake. Carrot cake. Hooray! Mmm. Carrot cake. <laughs> George is a proper rabbit now. Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig, we've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. <laughs> no, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. What do you think, George? Yuck! George does not like pink. Here are Daddy Pig's friends, Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? He'll just be a moment. My team are in white. I need a white shirt. But, Daddy, you have a white shirt. Just take off your jacket. See? Fantastic! Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, oh, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! Go! Go! Hooray! Hooray! Daddy, you've made your shirt all muddy. 
<laughs> of course, Pepper. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves playing football. Everyone loves playing football, especially when it's muddy. <laughs> Mummy is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Cats, George. Oh, missed it. George has caught the ball. Hooray! <laughs> well done, George. Now you throw the ball to Pepper. Oh, try again. Oh, try again. George cannot throw the ball past Mummy Pig. Come on, George, give the ball to me. <laughs> <laughs> Silly George. <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> Pepper wanted to copy George, but she's too big and has got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the ball. Pepper, now it's your turn to be piggy. George, catch! Hooray! Hooray! Caught it! George, you're the piggy! <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> catch the ball, George! <laughs> catch, George! <laughs> George, catch! <laughs> Here's the ball, George. <laughs> Whee! Oh dear, Peppa, you shouldn't tease George like that. Sorry, George. What's all the noise? Daddy, George is too little to play piggy in the middle. Oh, I'm sure he's big enough. No, he isn't, Daddy. Watch. Catch it, George. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, George doesn't like this game. Here are Danny Dog, Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Rebecca Rabbit and Richard Rabbit. Hello everyone! Hello! Hello. We're playing tennis. Can we play too? But there aren't enough rackets. Oh. oh. Let's play something else. Let's play football. Yes, football! Girls against boys. <laughs> <laughs> we each need a goalkeeper. Me, 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 me. Pedro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit will be the goalkeepers. We'll start. <laughs> Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. The boys are winning. <laughs> That's not fair. We weren't ready. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. You can't hold the ball. Yes, I can. I'm the goalkeeper. Go, go Rebecca, go. Go. <laughs> go. Hooray. The goal is not allowed. Yes, it is. No, no it, it isn't. isn't. Yes, it is. No, what it a isn't. lot of noise. Daddy. The boys are cheating. No, the girls are cheating. It sounds like you need a referee. What's a referee? It's someone who makes sure that everyone plays fair. <laughs> Is the water cold? It's lovely and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Steady on! <laughs> you started it, Daddy Pig. 
Maybe that's enough splashing. <laughs> Whee! Daddy, I love being at the beach. Pepper and George love the beach. Everyone loves the beach. Pepper, George, would you like to play with your buckets and spades? Yes, please, Mummy. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, can we bury you in the sand? Uh, well... Please, Daddy. Oh, all right. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are burying Daddy Pig in the sand. Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you can't escape. <laughs> my head is getting a bit hot. Can I have my straw hat? Well, if you say please. Please, can I have my straw hat? Yes, you may, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Oh, maybe I'll just have a little sleep. <laughs> <laughs> George, let's make sandcastles. Pepper and George are making sandcastles. First, we put sand in the buckets, like this. We turn the buckets upside down and tap them. And lift the bucket up. Hey, presto! A sandcastle. Hey, presto! Another sandcastle. Pepper, George, home time. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Pepper is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> oh, here it is. <coughs> oh, he keeps turning his head. <coughs> Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you, he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Pepper's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> this is Mr Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Pepper. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Are we all ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. Whee! I'm winning. It's not a race, Peppa. It's just a gentle bicycle ride. Yes, Daddy. But I'm still winning. <laughs> <laughs> now we're winning. <laughs> I don't like cycling uphill. <laughs> Peppa, we won the race. No, you didn't, Daddy, because I wasn't racing that time. But now I am. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> you cheeky little piggy. <laughs> Hello, ducks. We're having a cycle ride. <laughs> Hello, ducks. <laughs> <sighs> I'd forgotten how much I love cycling. 
Oh, I'd forgotten how much I hate cycling up hills. The ground is getting quite steep. <sighs> I don't like cycling up hills. But look at the beautiful view. My goodness, this is hard work. Mummy Pig, you're not peddling. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Daddy Pig. I was just enjoying the view. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her family have reached the top of the hill. <laughs> All Peppa's friends are here. Hello, Peppa. Hello. We're going to have a race on our bikes. <laughs> Peppa, do you want to race too? <laughs> OK, as long as we can race downhill. OK. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going to race down the hill. Are you all ready? Ready! You can start when I honk the horn, like this. Pedro has set off too soon. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Wow, you're fast. All thanks to my wheelchair. <laughs> Why do you have a wheelchair, Mandy? <laughs> because my legs don't work like yours. Can you walk on your legs? No. I have my wheels. <laughs> See, I get around fine. I can do everything. Squeak. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play ball. Yes, please. Squeak. OK, Mandy, you're on my team. <laughs> Susie, you're on my team. <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> Pedro. <laughs> Molly. Squeak. And Emily. <laughs> The children are in two teams. How do you play this game? The captain takes the ball and throws it over there. No, I know the rules. And the you're not no, the the rules. I say you do it this way. That is the rules because I said so. <laughs> what about the team who gets the ball through the hoop wins? <laughs> OK. And they're off. <laughs> Emily Elephant catches the ball. <laughs> Now Susie has it. <laughs> Pass to Pedro. And now to Peppa. Mandy takes the ball. Pass to Danny. <laughs> to Molly. And up high in the sky. Caught by Mandy Mouse. <laughs> to Gerald Giraffe. <laughs> Goal! Hooray! Mandy, you're good. I know. I'm brilliant. <laughs> Children, playtime is over. <laughs> can I help you? No, I'll be fine. I can do it by myself. I like hills. It is a big hill. Yes, it is a big hill. Maybe if you could help push. OK. Thank you, Peppa. I could do it on my own, but it's easier with two. I'm not used to big hills. Now you must run to the real Windy Castle. Oh. Ready, steady, go. Hooray! <sighs> The school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water! Water! What a lovely hot day! And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water! Water! Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy. The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. You look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. That's nice. 
Huh? A wasp? Shoo, shoo! Get away, you little pest! The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No! This is my lolly! Daddy started running again! Really fast! Hooray! Ah! Get off! Get off! You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Ah! Daddy Pig uh, has lost the wasp. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh! That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. Are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! love the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Pepper. Hello, Mr. Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh. Would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs Cat has won a digger. Oh. Do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr Bull and Mrs Cat like their Lucky Dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the Mummies and Daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump. Over there. As fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Come on! Oh. And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Come on, Daddy! Oh. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Keep going, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy. Oh. And my mummy is the winner! <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Lots, lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> The tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady, now, Peppa! Kylie is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Don't miss the next 
one, Peppa. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Whee! Isn't it awesome? Yes, it's brilliant! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. It's true. <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. Ready? <laughs> George wants to go surfing. <laughs> Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown ups to surf. Woohoo! <laughs> He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> 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 Your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Aw, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. Like that? No, the house is just old. Everything here is a little bit wonky donkey. Oh, everything is leaning now, but it wasn't always this way. When did your house start leaning, Madam Gazelle? Oh, I don't know. It's been so long. And now I have cracks everywhere, too. Hmm. I think your house might need fixing. Can't I just paper over the cracks and paint it? That is what my builder told me to do. What does the outside wall look like? Ah, what's this? Oh, that is my little Christmas tree. That's not little, that's big. It was from Christmas a long time ago. It was a little baby tree with a fairy on top. After Christmas, I could not bear to throw it away. So I planted it in the garden. Your baby tree has grown so much, it's pushing your house over. That's why your house is all wonky-donky. Oh, dear. What can we do about it? I'll call Mr Bull. Hello, Mr Bull. We have a big tree that needs looking at. I'll be right there. So, oh, where's this tree, then? Here it is. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle. Strong roots. Yes, but it's pushing the house over. Oh, yes. Let's chop it down. Oh, dear, my poor tree. Stop! I saw something move in the tree. It was a little animal. Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at Georgia's racing car. <laughs> wow. wow. I'll race you. And me. And me. <laughs> I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that? Do. You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <laughs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? <laughs> Steady? <laughs> go! Yeah. And they're off. Yeah. Come on, George! Yeah. Yeah. 
That's the end of lap one and George is in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. That's the end of lap two and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh dear, a wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Put the wheel back on. OK, okay chief, chief mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. Go, George, go! Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Pedal faster, George! Come, Come on, George! George. Come on, George! George is the winner! Hooray! Well done, George! You're the best racing driver in the whole world! <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like any petrol? No, we haven't gone anywhere yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, next stop, the museum. Um, where is Pedro? Petrol pumps. Interesting. Oh, come along, Pedro. Bye. I hope we get to the museum before it closes. Here is the museum. Mr Rabbit is locking up for the day. Hello, Mr Rabbit. We would like to see the museum, please. Hmm. We were just closing, but I can give you a quick tour. This is the king and queen's room, full of old stuff. Ooh. Hmm, interesting. Here are the giant dinosaurs, all very nice. Ah! Amazing! Space, rockets and all that. Wow! And through this door is the most amazing place of all. It's the fantastic world you live in. Oh! Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. My pleasure. Goodbye. Right. Time to go, children. Where is Pedro? Oh, Pedro. A mollusk. Very interesting. Come on, Pedro, or you'll miss the bus. Where is everybody? The bus has gone. Uh, don't worry. Miss Rabbit will realise she's left us behind. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Nobody has noticed Madame Gazelle and Pedro are missing. Oh, have you missed the bus? Mr Rabbit, I am a teacher. I need your car. Come on, Pedro. We'll take a shortcut. <laughs> Don't you pop it, Polly. George loves his balloon. <laughs> George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. The roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandpa! I can't, Pepper. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to take Pepper and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? <coughs> um, we bought George a dinosaur balloon. But George let it go and it's flying to the moon. There must be some way we can get it back. Uh, balloon! Look, Polly Parrot is flying after the balloon. Polly Parrot to the rescue. Go, Polly, go! 
Polly Parrot has rescued George's balloon. Hooray! Who's a clever Polly? <coughs> Who's a clever Polly? <coughs> <laughs> George, don't let go of your balloon again. I know. We'll tie the string to your wrist, George. What a good idea. <laughs> George loves his dinosaur balloon. Everyone loves George's dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Brought back presents for all of you. Ooh, presents. Here is a drum for Danny from a far away jungle. Thank you, Daddy. Very good, Danny. I can bang it louder. Perhaps that's enough banging for now. And for all your friends, some seashells from a desert island. Ooh. If you hold them to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yes, I can hear the seaside. And for my darling mummy dog, a chest of gold and jewels. Oh, how lovely. That will come in handy. Ah, it's great to be home. It is morning. Captain Dog is up early. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm checking the wind, Daddy. Why? Sailors always check the wind before they sail. But you're not a sailor anymore. Oh, yes. I did say that, didn't I? Do you miss the sea, Daddy? No, no, I don't miss the sea. But I do miss my boat. I've got a boat that Grandad Dog made for me. Aha! That's an exact copy of my boat. You could help me sail it. That sounds like fun! Pepper and her friends are at the duck pond. Ahoy there, shipmates! Room for another boat on the briny waters? Yes. Excellent. Danny, our boat needs a captain. It can't sail itself. Daddy? Will you be my boat's captain? I'd be delighted, Danny, if you'll be my first mate. Yes, please. Launch the boat. Aye, aye, Captain. Wind is southwesterly. The waters are calm. My last adventure was sailing a boat around the world. My next adventure is sailing a boat across a duck pond. <laughs> Captain Dog likes sailing across duck ponds. Everyone likes sailing across duck ponds. <laughs> Always look where you're going. Then... Oh, Dr Brown Bear is rolling down the hill. Ow, 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 ow. He rolled through a prickly bush. Ow, ow, ow. He hit a tree. Ow, ow, ow. And apples fell on his head. Oh. oh, my goodness. Call an ambulance. The ambulance is here. Oh, yes. Everyone into the ambulance. <laughs> don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check he's awake. Well done, Pepper. Are you awake, Doctor? Yes. Good. He is awake. This is all very nice of you, but Who I... Who knows what to do next? We ask him his name. Yes, but in this case, it's what not... What is your name? Dr. Brown Bear. Now we ask him what happened. You saw what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? Which bit is hurting? Every bit is hurting. Where is it hurting most? In my arm and my leg and here on my head. We just need to bandage him up. <laughs> because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker. Oh. Have a sticker! Oh. Have a sticker. Oh. Children, say 
Thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear loves ambulances. Everybody loves ambulances. <laughs> 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 <laughs>